Jamaica, we have a problem. We have a serious problem. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing fine now. There is this Cuban lady who has a very special message to you Jamaican. So let's watch this video and listen to her, then react to it at the end. Thank you so much. This is not a new problem. This is a very old problem. And thanks social media that today we get to talk about this with the hopes that our posts, that our videos get to the right ears, that get to the right people and enough of us is talking about it and we can find a suitable solution for this big problem. If you are new here, my name is Flor, I am Cuban and I live in Jamaica for over 20 years. And of course my country, boy, I don't know if this is a blessing or a curse because people always come for me in other comments because of this, but my country Cuba is very well known for its uh, health services although it's not perfect somehow our doctors make it all over the world and they end up helping a lot of people and saving a lot of lives so of course if there is anybody with a medical emergency in jamaica they come to me one look at me me is not a doctor we don't work a hospital just take a moment to put this into perspective me as a cuban living in jamaica who i provide jobs because i'm a business owner who have to take her own cooking oil, go fix roads, and I'm sure you have seen my viral video about this. Also have to provide medical care for Jamaican people. Now you tell me now if that is not an embarrassment. The most recent one being a mom from country with her tiny baby in need of a ventilator. The hospital in the parish where she is located, I'm not gonna be sharing where, doesn't have the facilities to assist this child. The medical staff at the hospital is very willing and, and able, but they just don't have the equipment to work with. And this message came to me as I came across this article by The Gleaner. Nearly half of ventilators in the public system are out of service. Of the 91 life-saving machines, spread across the Kingston Public, Victoria Jubilee, with Spanish Town and Princess Margaret Hospital, as well as the Bustamante Hospital for children, 49 are working and 42 are non-operational. Just make sure to check out the Gleaner and read the entire article. I was over by X and somebody did the math and the calculation was like about four ventilators per hospital which is outrageous because according to Google, you're supposed to have at least a dozen for every 100,000 people. As a mother, I cannot imagine having a 11 month old baby in dire need of a ventilator. And no matter how much money you have, you're unable to find it. Because I reach out to hospital. I reach out to hospital. And if uno don't know what hospital is, uno go ahead and Google hospital. And they do not have this type of care for children at that very top of the line, expensive hospital. So even if you have all the money and you want to transfer this baby, go to Cuba, like how this mother reached out to me to transfer her baby, go to Cuba to get care in another country where they speak a different language, she can't because the baby is not stable enough to take that flight. The only thing will be an ear ambulance. And I guess only Andrew can afford that in Jamaica. It is shameful. Ministry of Health. It is shameful that people have to be reaching out to foreigners on social media in the hopes to be able to receive health care is a shame. The well being and the health of your citizens is the priority. Not your bands and your Range Rovers and your private jets and your mansions all over the world. It's about time we make a change. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, everyone. Now, the healthier the population of a country. Is the wealthier the country is and when the health sector is well equipped in any country you are going to realize that um, the country's uh, GDP will be high and this is just simple because so many people will be working and there's so many 
uh, taxes being collected by the government because so many people have the energy to go to work and produce more for their country and for their own benefit now i tend to agree with this lady that there is a health crisis in africa and in the caribbean and it's not just like um she's just saying the truth because when you come to africa you're going to realize that there is a very big problem when it comes to the health sector because there is so much money being stashed and pumped to the sector but there is less deliverance of health services and in this case the money is being misused by those who have been put to manage it now this is not uh this is not uh the opposite of whatever is happening in jamaica and in the caribbean it's just like the same because she says that in most jamaicans hospital jamaican hospital hospitals there is less services being rendered to the people and there are sometimes no drugs to to be given to the patients and most jamaicans have been coming to her crying out they want her help because they think because she comes from cuba she must be a nurse or a doctor yes even when i was uh, in high school i used to hear that uh my country used to hire cuban nurses and cuban doctors so in most cases i knew in cuba most people are nurses and doctors but it is high time i dropped the stereotype and she says that still exists in jamaica that most jamaicans believe that if you come from cuba or if you come from uh yeah if you come from that country you might be a doctor or a nurse or a health specialist now she says that most jamaicans flock to her wanting to be helped by her in the issues regarding with health now this shows a lot it shows that the government of jamaica has invested less in the health sector or even if it has invested there is mismanagement of um, the health sector or the resources that are to be used in the health sector to make sure that jamaicans receive the best services now i know it is very very rare to get good hospitals in Africa or in the Caribbean. I don't I do not know much about the Caribbean. Maybe if you leave a comment then I'll have to know better. But from the research I've done, most uh most hospitals in the Caribbean are level 3 or level 4. And like when you go to countries like uh, France and in Europe, most most uh hospitals start from level 5 level six and going upward now this really says a lot that the caribbean and africa have invested very less in uh, in our health sector and this is whatever is killing our economies because we the people tend to spend a lot of money to get good services in private hospitals rather than in public hospitals now if you go to well-developed countries you're going to realize mm, public hospitals are very good even that are better than the private hospitals because that's where the economy lies when most people of our country are sick trust me not there is going to be an economy economical degradation because most people want to be paying their taxes they will be spending the money rather on on paying health bills now this says a lot it says uh, our government, however much we pay taxes, have actually uh, spent less in our hospitals or in the health sectors uh, compared to other sectors. Even if they have spent more, then it's being looted or mismanaged by those um, trusted in managing the health sector. Now, come to my country, Kenya, or go to Nigeria or go to Ghana, you are going to realize that most hospitals do not even have drugs why why is this so now taxpayers money is being used to maybe import drugs to our countries from india and all those countries that we know but this money has always been mismanaged now after 
it has been brought to our countries the drugs now the doctors have pharmacies chemists where they go ahead and steal this make a lot of scandals take the drugs from the hospitals they take them to the uh, to their chemistry or pharmacies where they tend to sell them at a higher price and if you go to the hospitals they do not have drugs but they will direct you to a very specific chemistry or a pharmacy where you can get them those pharmacies belong to their friends families or their theirs so they tend to spend a lot a lot of their time in this hospital in these uh, pharmacies because that's where the drugs are so this means a lot it says a lot it says there is no need there is need for our government to intervene in whatever is happening in our health sectors it is not good when outsiders tend to air out problems that are being faced in our own countries now this lady is a caribbean and most people might not agree with her but there is some truth in whatever she says that our governments are failing in a way however much we try to protect our countries because we love them so much but they have failed us in a way there is need for our hospitals to be great upgraded and our doctors to be trained better and train more doctors please our countries should learn to train more doctors do not import doctors train our youths train our population to be doctors because these are people we can rely on today tomorrow and some years coming but when we try to import labor we import labor at a higher price then uh, these people can go to their country anytime when uh, the contract expires or it's being terminated so in this case our countries stands a bigger chance of losing good services that it has been enjoying and in this case what happens a lot of cash will be spent to import others and if there is no cash then the government will leave it to the common citizens so that you may go and seek medical care in other private hospitals where they will charge you double the price you could have been charged in a public hospitals so let me know whatever you think of this video because uh, it's very very emotional seeing an outsider someone from cuba talking on behalf of blacks talking on behalf of jamaicans of whatever is happening now jamaicans are really suffering in getting good health care however much i've done my research and i've seen most hospitals are not to the modern standards required and if you come to africa it's the same our leaders tend to uh, uh, focus on other things increasing their salaries and they are they are increasing their allowances then leaving our hospitals in rags leaving our hospitals to perish and in this case we do not have otherwise than seeking medical care in private hospitals thank you so much for watching this video please please uh leave a like share and subscribe to the channel